Hello fellow guardians and fellow YouTubers, thank you for tuning in to Accent Prone. Uh, today I am going to show you how you can get into one of the House of Wolves strikes. So without further ado, let's begin. First off, you're going to be wanting to get on top of this little door. Uh, this place is located in the Hellmouth, I believe it's the World's Grave. After that, you're going to want to get onto these ribbons. And the best and safest way to get across is you get onto this little platform. Then you can just glide on over to the next ribbons. On this ribbon, you go up over it and you will see this gap. From this gap you drop down onto this little platform. Now the best way for me to do it, you can do this with the Titan class, the Hunter class, with any class it works the best for me, is you're going to run and jump onto that little platform. So here it goes. And I can do it in one go. From there you're going to be wanting to keep on going up on these rock formations. Once you get to the top here you'll see how it kind of dips in. Now, the next step is kind of easy. You're going to want to get onto that rock to jump over to that platform over there. Best way to do that is you're going to want to get on top of this rock, but as you can see, I did not do so well. But luckily, this area you can fall down and keep on trying a little bit. So now here's attempt number two. You want to get on top of that rock. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then you can just drop down below for a safer landing. Alright, let's do it. Okay, there we go. Now you're going to want to jump and land over here. Then you're going to want to get on top of here. Believe it or not, this is stable. You can get on top of it. And you can. Next step, you want to get onto that platform. Everything may disappear, but it's all there. Don't worry about it. As long as you can remember where it's at, you should be good. Now, let's way to the thralls. Hi, thralls. <laughs> Okay, then you're going to be wanting to continue going upwards. You're going to want to get up over this room. So you go up, get on top of this room. Now the best way that's worked for me is you jump into that gap. Go up, and up again. Okay, then just keep going up in this general direction. Go up, you go around. And this part is fairly easy. Now you're going to encounter a invisible ceiling, invisible ceiling, as you can see here. So what you gotta do is you gotta walk around it. Okay, now this next step, it's kind of a little confusing, I get lost here sometimes. But you can actually walk over there. All that you can walk on. So don't worry about it because it's all technically rock that is just clipping. You can walk through it. it does scare you because it scared me but it's all stable you can walk across it but you will be encountering some type of a barrier so you should not worry so you should be cautious nonetheless because you can fall and sometimes you can't get up into the same position and you have to start this all over again but anyway keep once you get over to once you get up on the rocks you want to go over there now this next step it's pretty it is one of the hardest for us for me okay you're gonna wanna jump across onto that onto those rock formations just do doo cowabunga <laughs> okay now you're gonna wanna get on top of these rocks and believe it or not you're gonna walk into through that wall that's right just walk through that wall <laughs> Now you're going to be seeing a lot of little, like rock islands which can which will disappear when you move. So just try to get a brief idea where a rock is at and then you're going to jump on it. Then just keep on and go to the right of that rock and then you just kind of continue straight. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to land on top of that doorway cuz if you don't, this is a kind of dead zone, you will die and be respawned right in there. So once you get here, you're going to be, it's going to say Temple of Crota. You're going to want to jump on top of that little ceiling. Just the big ring is what helps you. Is what could be a good guiding point. So you get on top of this wall, on top of the rocks, and the goal is to get to that ring, but don't go through it. Don't be that close to it because it because you will fall through so kind of use it as a guide you go around and we're just gonna keep running keep running until you get to the last two posts and you can generally tell because of that lantern at the bottom there that lantern is a pretty good marker for where it's at 
that one. <laughs> so next, you're going to be wanting to get on top of that, on top of the roof right there. But there's kind of the general area where we're at. We are actually on top of Hell's Mouth. Okay, you're going to want to get on top of that roof. It's going to take you a couple shots, but once you do it, you're on the home stretch. Just keep walking towards it, even though it's going to be tough to see. So, get on top of here. Going to want to jump backwards and then get on up. Okay, then your ghost is going to turn on to kind of be your flashlight, and you're just going to go to this wall right here. You are going to jump over this wall into pitch black. Now, from here, you're going to want to go onto that small platform right there. You're just going to drop down on top of it, just nice and slowly so that way you do not fall off because this is the home stretch. Now, you walk here, it's going to switch to a different location and you're going to be wanting this the dusk warren from here you're going to commit suicide because once you commit suicide and you respawn you're going to respawn on the other side of that wall and from there you get get beamed up into the fallen ship for the house of one of we believe for one the house of wolves strikes anyway guys thanks for watching uh, this is EdgeWalker75. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, little gameplay tutorial, please hit like and subscribe. And please leave me a comment on uh, what you think I could do better or just some of the other glitches that have been performed. And me and my friends, we can do it. Anyway, this is Prone 75 signing off. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.